Thank you very much for keeping us company. This is uh, Channel One News Hour. My name is Edward Kabasa. Glad to be with you. Let us take a look at uh, security matters now. The National Police Service has dismissed claims of human rights violations in the ongoing security operation in Capital. This development comes as a post-mortem examination indicated that at least six people whose bodies were discovered in a bush in Burungo South were tortured before they were shot dead. Meanwhile, seven people have been arrested and 35 illegal firearms recovered as officers comb the area. Jacqueline Wambiru with the details. The government announced the 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew in Capedo barely two weeks after the killing of three police officers, including a senior GSU officer by alleged bandits two weeks ago. The curfew would see officers deployed in the area to keep the peace, as well as disarm civilians with illegal weapons in Capedo and Arabal. Following the start of the operation, the officers have been accused of human rights violation, prompting the police spokesperson Charles Owino to speak out on the claims. So we don't have things called extrajudicial killing. It's a fallacy. It's a political gimmick that people use. Yes, there are circumstances when a person may be killed lawfully or unlawfully. Because extrajudicial killings requires you to have a policy to execute. We don't have as a government a policy to execute. And you are aware that even cases where police officers have unlawfully killed, we have charged them in court. The officers are on the spot following a post-mortem of the bodies of six people found dumped in Baringo South, which indicate they were tortured before they were shot dead. There's nothing we are covering. If somebody has died in a circumstance that it is thought that he has been killed by another person, then it is important that we inquire into the cause of death through a court of law. And if somebody has been involved in the killing, the person will take responsibility, especially the police. We don't take collective responsibility. We take individual responsibilities. That is why even when we are 20 in an operation and somebody is killed and is killed unlawfully, we take those guns for forensic to determine and establish who in particular has killed them. Owino says the multi-agency operation will continue until normalcy is restored. At the same time, he pointed out seven people have been arrested and 35 illegal firearms recovered. The National Police Service is currently carrying out an operation in Capedo and Arabal in order to bring the killers to book, recover illicit arms and stolen animals. We have also asked the locals to voluntarily surrender illicit arms. He also cautioned pastoralist communities in Capedo against attacking police. In the meantime, he has warned learners involved in the burning and destruction of school property they will be criminally liable. All persons aged eight, eight, year, age eight years and above are criminally liable for any criminal acts or omissions that they commit. They have a criminal responsibility as long as you are eight years and above. Upon prosecution, your criminal record shall be kept by the criminal records office at the DCI for the rest of your life. This will definitely affect your future career prospects. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.